Yo. Hey. <laughs> What's happening? What's going on? Well, so, go on, well, go on. What's up? It's been forever, right? <laughs> I know, I know. So, ladies and gentlemen, time. this is Marvin Priest. He is a reggae slash pop star. I don't know if you're into any other genres. Is it just reggae and pop? Yeah, I guess it's just them two, really. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm. So, Marvin is actually from the UK. Um, yes. He came to New York um, a few years ago, and now he's mm-hmm. currently in Australia. And That's right. um, still creating music so i believe in australia what time is it it's it's about to be it's, noon right like two minutes to noon no it's um it's one o'clock okay okay yeah, one o'clock yeah. so um here it's eight fifty-eight. it's about to be 9 p.m so it's night time oh wow <laughs> yeah so we're in different <laughs> time zones but we still kind of made it yeah. happen so that's it's right, so good right. to speak to you. Um, for those who don't know, how you been? Boston, how you been? How you been? How you been? How you been? I've been good. Like I really can't complain. Life is good. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Life is good. Yeah. How about you? Good. I'm good. Really good. Really yes. good. Yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna get into the music. <laughs> so. Okay, um, Marvin, what was it that made you decide to jump into music? And what was it that gave you um, your specific genre choice? Um, well, um, my dad, obviously, I told you mm-hmm. my dad for a while, you know. Um, my mm-hmm. dad's a reggae singer. If you don't know, he does reggae, yeah. you know. Um, yes, for those so who I'm, don't I'm... know, Marvin's father <laughs> is Maxi Priest. He is a reggae star <laughs> yes Go ahead, Mark. you know what i'm saying so yeah so i got to tour with him and um got to travel the mm-hmm. world go to different places yeah. you know and um i just mm-hmm. picked it up on the journey I, I picked up the singing and just learned how mm-hmm. to do it and then once i learned i was like i fell in love with it and just continued you know yeah. um and as a kid i liked soccer and i liked um mm-hmm. just playing the keyboards um but okay. the singing, just, I just adapted to the singing after a while, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. So when you started yeah. playing the keyboard, did you, like, play by ear? Because I used to do that, too. Yeah, that's what i done. I didn't have no lessons, no instructions. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah, you know yeah. that's sort yeah. of the best way <laughs> sometimes. Yes, um, yes, yes. So, okay. So what, um, at what point did you actually say, um, I know that I like singing, but I'm actually going to, go ahead and start recording. What point was that in your life? Because you've been making music forever. Oh. Yeah, well, I, I would say um, once I moved to America, once I met, you know, I once, I once I moved there, which was like 2007. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I moved there 2007. And once I got there, everyone was like, oh, you got a talent, you can do a good, you know, you got a vibe. Come and start recording. Yeah. So I started to go to different studios in New York, mm-hmm. New Jersey, um, yeah. and just venturing and practicing and trying out different things. You know what I'm saying? And then that's when I got to um, go to Australia, which I'm here now, and um, yeah. I got my deal here through, just mm-hmm. by doing that. Mm. Yeah. So are you still yeah. currently signed to that label? No, no, no. I've got my own label now, but. I'm still okay. with the pub. <clears throat> I'm still with the publishers. I still write for Universal. I'm still with Universal Publishing. Okay, okay, that sounds good. Um, so growing up, um, what were some of the different, um, I guess, singers and genres that you were listening to? Well, oh, it's interesting because I I grew up like listening to Jodeci, uh-huh. um, reg in in R and B wise, but um, reggae wise, it was like Dennis Brown. Bob Marley, my dad, mm-hmm. Ferris Hammond, yeah. um, mm-hmm. lots of reggae. I grew up listening to lots and lots of reggae, you know, because mm-hmm. I'm English, but my family is Jamaican, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. That's it, yeah. And would you say that um, that reggae is your, I guess, your favorite genre? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I would say mm-hmm. my favorite. 
Yeah. yeah. I love to say yeah, yeah, yeah. So um I did um get to check out some of your new stuff. Mm -hmm. Um I have your song I Require and mm -hmm. I tried. What were some of the things that inspired those songs? What inspired you to write those um those two um songs? experiences? Yeah. Um, some yeah, some experiences and some exaggerated experiences as well. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. so you exaggerate them a bit, but um, yeah, they're, yeah, they're real life. Some of them are real life stories. I just added them together to make to make the yeah, song. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And earlier we spoke. Um, we spoke about your dad, Maxi Priest. He's a reggae pop superstar. Um, mm -hmm. How has he influenced your career, and how has he um, supported you in your career as well? Ah, oh, he's been amazing. Um, it's been good. I've learned a lot from him. I've got to tour, you know, with him, mm -hmm. and most of my skills have come from him. Like, you know, yeah. like just getting to watch him, and mm -hmm. he taught me how to write and stuff, and how to perform. Your breathing, all that kind of stuff, yeah. you know. So, I've been very lucky. It's been a blessing. Yeah. I've been really lucky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't have to go and take any singing lessons if you have him, right? <laughs> and uh, singing oh. is like second nature to him. Like he he sings like throughout the day and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, of course, of course. You got um, but it takes practice as well. It doesn't just come like natural. You have to practice and yeah, you have definitely. to yeah, 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 yeah. And he and and mm -hmm. the good thing with him, he will tell you like, yo, you're off key, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yeah, once, yeah, 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 yeah. He'll tell you. So, but that's that good yeah, constructive right. criticism that's only gonna make you exactly. better. Exactly. So. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um. Mm. So you are originally from the UK. Yeah. Um. What UK genres, um, were you into kind of growing up? What were, uh, well, were some of the artists? Well, there um, it wasn't necessarily any artists, but. Growing up in London, you get to listen to a lot of pop music. And that's why I got, I, I do mm -hmm. pop music as well, you know. Um, yeah. The big influence in, it wasn't no specific artist or any band or anything like that. It was more about mm -hmm. the sound. So on the radio, yeah. you wouldn't really hear so much um, of like the American, you'd hear some American music, but you'd just hear a lot mm -hmm. of pop, top 40 pop. Yeah. I guess you yeah. call it top 40 in America. So yeah, you mm -hmm. hear a lot of pop music and, so that was a big influence in my sound as well. That's how I got to be able to do pop music as well as yeah. doing reggae. You know what I mean? It's like, um, you need to, that's that, and that's the influences that I had at the time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, there weren't no specific artists, no. It's just really the top 40. Yeah. Okay, so it was just mostly like that, that pop sound that kind of influenced you. Yeah, like the dark, like boom, 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 boom. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. the, yeah, that kind of, yeah. And did you really, um, I've, I've never been to the UK. Um, okay, so okay. is hip hop um, influential out there? Yeah, of course. It, well, it is today because of the internet. Um, mm -hmm. I guess in the like 2010s, yeah, it was inf influential as well. Um, mm -hmm. But I guess the pop music would still be the most influential thing. But they, they, the, pop, um, the rap music plays, hip hop plays. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you have any new tracks coming out? Are you working on any new yes. projects? You mentioned you have your own. Yeah, music. yeah. That's huge. You have artists under you. What's yeah, yeah, on? yeah. We got well, we got a few artists. Um, mm -hmm. um, we got a band we're working with right now um, called Crown Heights Music, um, which is a <laughs> which is a really really sick band. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hi everyone. That's it. Um, but yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So. Um, We've got our own label and stuff, which is really, really good. So we're shooting a video next weekend. Um, mm -hmm. I've got another song coming out called Tequila with my friend Slipper. That should be out very soon. Um, okay. And then I've got a, um, an album with my band as well coming out probably mm -hmm. early next year. But we've got some singles coming out this year. So lots of uh, lots of music. We took advantage of the, um, the corona situation, you know what I mean? And just yeah. made sure we made a lot of music and... Got got, yeah. got a lot of stuff done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and it's kind of interesting because it's kind of like this thing that we can't control and we're able to have a lot of downtime. And in that downtime, you're just 
thinking you gotta of be creative. You know, different ways to be creative. Yes, yeah. yes, you so, gotta be creative. Yeah, so that's good. And how how is the climate out there in Australia? I've heard that you guys pretty much have it under control. Yeah, we're good now. We're COVID free. Um, oh, no wow, cases, no nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in reverse, we're now allowed outside. Before we was locked in, state of yeah. emergency, like mm-hmm. curfew. Um, but it's good now. Yeah, we, uh, we can go out now. We're out. I guess um, some places are still like going into um, mm-hmm. curfew right now. So like London, London's going back into curfew now. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So 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 yeah, it's opposite to us. So we're coming outside. And we're going into yeah. summer as well, so it's complete opposite to everyone else. You're going to winter. We're yeah, going we're going into, into summer winter now. now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So it's it's different. Um, yeah, I guess it's it's kind of been under control here, but it's like up and down, and it's mm-hmm. it's an interesting situation. I would say that it's something we've never really seen before. Yeah, so. yeah, true, 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 true. true. Um, so music wise, so you said with your label, it's you and your band. Mm-hmm. Um, do you have any Crown other Heights artists? music? Crown Heights music. Crown Heights mm-hmm. music. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, we have we have Ricky Raga, um, okay. great artist as well. Um, we have myself. Um, mm-hmm. um, that's it at this present time. But, but that's because we're working on them projects at this moment, so we don't want to pick up too much at this present time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, so, but it's good. It's yeah, good. It's really yeah. good. It's really good. I'm excited. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm really and when do you expect those new projects to be out within the next few months? Well, um, well, as I said, look out this week for a video coming out this week, 100%. Oh, okay, I got a, yeah. A song, yeah, I got a song called Tequila um, with my bro mm-hmm. Flipper. That will come out this week. Um, okay. And then I'm shooting a video ended, uh, next week for to come out with my band, um, Crown uh-huh. Hacks Music, so... That's gonna okay. be sick. Like, it's, yeah, it's, it's, uh, I'm really excited because, as I said, through the um, pandemic, we were being creative. You know what I mean? We just yeah, needed the yeah. time to just, yeah, to just be creative. So that's, mm-hmm. so it's been a blessing, man. I'm really looking forward to to next year and when the gates open to come international. You know what I'm saying? Like to get yeah, out there, right. man. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, hundred percent. And definitely, um, send that video as soon as you guys are finished with it. It'll go up on the site for sure. Yeah, uh, well, as I'll send you the one. Um, I'll send you. I'll send you one as soon as we come off it. I'm gonna send you one anyway, and you can start shooting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah that yeah, yeah. sounds good. Um, so, is there anything that you would like to mention that people might not know about you? Um, well, I guess I'm a, I'm a weird kind of artist to them because. Again, because I've done pop music as well as reggae, it's such it's uh, it's like oh, what does he do? It's like I'm an artist, mm-hmm. so I paint I paint on any picture, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I go on any beat, any rhythm. That's just mm-hmm. me. Like I don't really, it's not I'm not too partial to what it is, you know what I'm saying? So my, so so long as I feel it and I can be happy with it, that's all that really matters, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, no, that's that's really it. And obviously, I want everyone to stay blessed and to stay safe. And, yeah. and again, when, when the gates open, we'll all be able to reach out again, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, right, 100%. right, right. <laughs> and I do have a question. Can you see yourself, um, like, going down, like, an R&B kind of lane one of these days? Um, maybe, because I, I have done R&B songs, um, uh-huh. and I can do them. I guess it's, um, I guess I do more what comes natural to me other than... Um, yeah. And and uh, again, reggae and like pop, this comes naturally to me. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I find uh-huh. it so it's my, it's easy. And not to say that R and B is hard. It's just that I haven't really focused on it to zoom into into it like that. But I would. I, I'll definitely do it. I, I, I definitely can. Like I'm. Yeah. I think it sounds sick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. Um. And yeah. out of your, I would say, out of your catalog, what would you say is your favorite song? Um, favorite. Oh, okay. My favorite song. It might be some of the songs I'm getting to put out now, okay. only because it's more me. I'm getting to do myself. It's not um, not no one's not telling me what I should do or what you reckon. You know, it's no one's opinion but my own. 
So right mm-hmm. now, it's probably it's probably the song. So probably I would say a song I've just put out called "I Tried." Um, that's one of my favourite songs. I, I guess it's just because I have no restrictions on what I'm doing now. Um, yeah. But in saying that, though, because of like success of like own this club, I have to put that in there as well because it was such yeah. a successful successful song. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like it done really. Like it done a lot for me. So it's like I have to appreciate that as well. You know what I'm saying? Own yeah. this club. I think that was one of your pop songs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, sounds cool. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I meant to ask you. Um, I definitely am looking forward to the new music for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 to add in, no, uh, to add in, I do have, um, I do have some songs out at the moment. Um, okay. On on some um a song on a Caribbean. Soul Rhythm, that's out right now. Um, okay. Um, I'm on the same track as a few other like really big artists like Big Busy Signal and a few people. Um, mm-hmm. They're out now, so just yeah, tune into Spotify, all of that kind of stuff. There's, there's a load of yeah. tracks just coming out, but yeah, they, we're just firing them out, man. That's how it's going. Okay, yeah, so yeah. we can find those tracks on Spotify. Yeah, all Spotify, YouTube. There's videos mm-hmm. up as well. Some of the songs we put out this year. Because again, as I said, we took advantage of the COVID situation. So we've been working, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah, was yeah, just, yeah. I would say it was just really like a time of like just reflection and everything that um, I wanted to get done pretty much got done. <laughs> so yeah. That's what I'm saying. It, it if you, was, that's right, that's right, that's right. Yeah, that's right, it, was, that's right. it was just a great yeah. thing to take advantage of and um, just reignite that creativity. It's so I good know, to know that I you're know. doing great. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll be out there um, soon, man. As I said, as soon as the gates open. We'll right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Man. Definitely. Definitely. Um, and um, this interview will be saved to this page in case anyone wants to take a look at it. And yeah, we'll be in touch. Um, you should be able to see Marvin's new videos on um, rockmagazine.com. It's going to be coming up um, whenever he releases them, right, Marvin? <laughs> yes, yes. So, I'll, I'll say, well, as I said, I've got one to send you already. So. Yes, okay. So that new one is going to be up there probably by tonight or tomorrow morning. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's it, guys. Right. Marvin. Take care. Thank you. Great. It's a blessing. Yes, you too. Okay. Thank you. Take care. All Bye. Right. See you later.